Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, Thursday's forecast is tricky, not that there's a big storm coming, but as far as the northward extent of uh, some much needed rain, in other words, how far inland off the ocean do we get some wet weather? We'll get a, a detailed look at it in just a second. In the meantime, it is dry as expected this evening under mostly cloudy skies, not expecting any uh, precipitation overnight, so things will stay dry. That's been the key word of late, kind of a mini drought. You know, last couple of months, the, the rainfall totals have been running anywhere from four to almost six inches below average. Now, we have some showers coming up on Thursday. I mean, it's a tough call. I mean, really not much in the morning tomorrow as far as coverage or rain amounts, but certainly better chances as we get into the uh, late afternoon and early evening hours. I haven't changed the letter grade for the weekend. Mother Nature doing her homework. We'll show you that uh, seven day future cast in just a second. Clouds in Providence right now. Temperature coming in in the upper 50s on a light east northeast breeze at seven. These winds will start to pick up tomorrow, especially along the coastline. Humidity now at 84% and most areas now mid to upper 50. Smithfield 55, uh, New Bedford at 52 and Newport coming in at 57. So here's the wider view. You see the clouds that have been sneaking in this afternoon and this evening on the very bottom of your TV set. You see the leading edge of some rain off the mid Atlantic coastline. Now, more than likely, this is going to move in tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, though the highest chances would be along the south shore. It's one of those situations where, you know, the further north you go, it's drier, it's drier, it's not as much rain. The further south you go near the coastline, Newport, Westerly, New Bedford, Block Island, better chances of a widespread and slightly steadier rain. Let's kind of put a picture on this into the future, starting off this evening with cloudy skies and dry. Now here we are tomorrow morning at around eight or nine. Other than a, a sprinkle here and there, I'm not expecting much in the way of rain uh, for the morning commute. Now notice during the afternoon, especially along the south shore, the chances start to increase. It may take until the better part of the day or towards the early evening hours to get this rain shield working further to the north, say north of Providence. Of course, the chances once again higher the further south you go tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Most of us should get into at least some light rain tomorrow evening and then all of this pulling away just in time for Friday and the weekend. So I still giving it the green traffic light uh, tomorrow morning, not expecting any kind of uh, you know big puddles or flooding or anything like that other than a few sprinkles, 59 to 64. And then during the afternoon, increased chances for showers, especially as we get deeper into the day. Uh, temperatures cool in the uh, mid 60s. As far as the threat tracker now through Friday, certainly in the low category. Again, there's no big storm or flooding or thunderstorms coming up for tomorrow, so it's it's manageable. In fact, we need the rain. And then by the weekend, boy, it really turns nice. Now, Friday's not bad after some early morning clouds, some sun in the afternoon, or at least partly sunny skies, temperature at 70. Look at this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, sunshine, warm and dry, afternoon high temperatures, both days between 75 and 80. We need the rain, and it may be one of those situations where only the south shore gets anything appreciable, and further to the north, it's just showers or sprinkles. Yeah, but look at that weekend. Yeah, good. nice. <laughs> All right, thanks, Tony.